Hey guys, it's Abigail of The Black Book Space. I want to talk to you about this book that I was asked to do a review of. You know that I offer affordable book reviews and where my prices are going up. And I will be announcing that at the end of this video. But that's not what this is about. So grab your green juice, come back, and let's talk about this book. Excuse me while I live my life. The Black Book Space blog is dedicated to the celebration of Black Books all year round. So I was really happy when someone reached out to me on Instagram to ask if I would do a review of their book. So I think that people aren't completely clear on what I do with my book reviews. I do not do book reviews on Instagram because I don't feel that it has a far reach at all. Um, I'll put posts up that I did a review on my blog on Instagram from time to time when I remember, but I don't use Instagram for that because I find that it just isn't as effective as putting it on the blog and putting it on my YouTube channel. I want the person that I do the book review for to have the farthest reach possible, and that's what I found to be the most effective. So, person reached out to me on Instagram, and I absolutely love this book. I don't read a lot of poetry. I used to write a, quite a bit of it when I was younger, but I don't read a lot of it. And now I'm like so excited to get back into it. This poetry book was raw and beautiful, very easy to read, and it really gave a great illustration into the author's life. The, so the author, Clarice Annette Brooks, this book is called, Excuse Me While I Live My Life, Words to Reach Your Heart. And I highly agree. These words definitely reached my heart. It talked about different things like, you know, self-sabotaging behavior and even the idea of people trying to pull you back. So one of my favorite poems called Fear is Your Friend. Listen not to those who say, ignore fear. They do not understand. You must realize that fear is your friend, but when she comes to visit, remember her place in your life. Do not place fear in front of you. To do so is to misunderstand her intention. She will block you from moving forward into the adventures your life may hold. She will be the barrier and your unintended captive, unable to move, unable to go forward, trapped, forever remaining in your place. And your life's closing will be one of regrets and wonderings of what could have been. Do not toss fear carelessly behind you. She resents being ignored. She will shake her head as you fail to give your endeavors the careful thought and planning that they require. She will stare down at the recklessness caused by your disregard for a cautionary warnings. And your final reflections will be torment and limitations of how you could have triumphed at the opportunity that once laid before you and of berating yourself for so foolishly tossing her to the side, dishonoring her purpose. So this is one of the poems that don't rhyme, which I love poetry like that. Very creative, very beautiful. There are even a few pictures in here. And you can tell that the author really took her time, you know, writing this book. A lot of times when it comes to things like poetry, we're not always sure how to present it because people can be so picky when it comes to poetry. It has to rhyme like this, it has to do this, it has to do that. And I feel like this book really goes beyond those barriers. So one of the other poems I really liked was called Boxed. Did you know your world was open when you first arrived? The possibilities were endless, so many reasons yet to thrive. But someone said, stop now, get back inside your box. Re remain where it is known and safe. That's when your mind began to lock. You stayed right there and you watched while others lived out their dreams while you believed the lie that only they were born for great things. So this is all about that imposter syndrome. Afraid to come out of your box because you're around people who don't like nice things and who don't want to encourage you. And she's like, who cares? Like, get out of that box. Move somewhere else. Get out there. Learn something new. And excuse me while I live my life. Let's talk about the cover. These oranges and yellows are so beautiful. The woman is looking up to the skies if she's thinking about something. Maybe looking for an answer. I love this book. This is our author. I want to read a little bit about her. Clarice Annette Books is proud to have had a multi-decade career as an educator. Stemming from Queens, New York, she currently lives in Rhode Island with her husband, Alexander, their two children, Alexa Claire and Danielle Gervais, and their dog, Percy. <laughs> Writing has always been a love of hers, and she is pleased to share her first book with you. This is her first book. This is so exciting. In her free time, she enjoys baking, going for long walks out beside the ocean. Me too. 
watching old movies and documentaries, browsing through bookstores, listening to interesting podcasts, traveling, and of course, reading poetry. So I'm excited because this was a book that I would not have otherwise known about. I feel that when people have poetry books and poetry books by black authors are definitely not as widely spread as others so i'm doing my part to put these books out there please 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 poetry <laughs> purchase this poetry book you will not be disappointed it is really really beautiful it really makes you think and it's a little different you don't want to read the same things all the time and it's really important for us to support each other and actually support each other one of the ways I'm doing that is by putting this book review up so when it comes to book reviews not only will you see this here have created this video for this book I'm going to be creating others where I can compare this book to others and of course writing some blog posts doing what I can can to really increase the reach of this book so that others know what it's about, where they can purchase it, and things like that. That's how I celebrate Black books authors all the time, all year round. However, my book review price will be going up to $75 per review because I do want to make sure, of course, that I can purchase the book and spend time on the book where I'm not, you know, constantly worrying about this and getting it done quicker and quicker. I think $75 is a little higher investment. And now that I've done a few book reviews, people can see the quality of them and invest a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing. Purchase if you like. Continue to write all of these beautiful books. And please, please, please go out and purchase this one as soon as you can. It's called Excuse Me While I Live My Life, Words to Reach Your Heart by Clarice Annette Brooks. It's a nice short book, so if you're looking to increase how many books you read this year, which I am because I'm very behind, grab this one. And look at the cover. You can't go wrong with that. So do something that brings you joy today. Bye.